Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to the Acne Channel where I post a video every Tuesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time talking about a skincare or acne related topic. And today I'm going to be finishing my my uh, glossary of must know terms if you are in the beauty space. So this is gonna be focused more on makeup while the previous video was more focused on skincare and skin conditions. Number one is BB cream. So it, it is basically called Beauty Balm. And what it does is it blends moisturizer, sunscreen, primer, and foundation into a do-it-all complexion product. Two is botanical. So basically botanical means it's plant-derived ingredients in skincare products, hair care, and cosmetics. Number three is brightening. It is a term for products that reduce skin redness and uneven pigmentation typically using ingredients like salicylic or kojic acid. Number four is CC cream. So it's color correcting makeup and a skincare hybrid. So it is similar to BB cream, but with more anti-aging, spot reducing and tone balancing properties. Number five is clarifying lotion. So this is usually a name for toner and usually it has things like hyaluronic acid, pure glycerin, salicylic acid to balance oil and hydrate the skin. The cool refreshing formula removes dead cells from the surface of the skin, helping moisturizer and makeup to apply evenly. Number six is contour. So contour is a technique previously reserved for runway models and fancy photo shoots and is now becoming many part of girls routines. And I swear, I think it's Instagram and the Kardashian sisters who made contouring popular because I don't think people contoured 10 years ago. Number seven is foundation primer. So this is a water or silicone based cream or lotion that creates a smooth, even surface for makeup and improves wearability. Okay, number eight is highlighter or illuminator, which became super popular, especially the cover my face with highlight challenge. So basically these are makeup liquid powders, whatever, that contain light reflecting ingredients uh, such as mica or microfiber crystals to accentuate the skin and give it a natural glow. Number nine is hypoallergenic. So it is the term for products that are less likely to cause an allergic reaction. Number 10 is keratin. So this is a protein family that makes up skin, hair, and nails an ingredient in hair products and treatments to smooth, straighten, and fight frizz. Have you ever guys heard of a keratin Brazilian treatment? Number 11 is lash primer. So it's a base coat for mascara, often with nourishing and conditioning properties that help bind mascara to lashes for longer wear. Number 12 is a lip stain. So it's a liquid or water-based gel that contains alcohol, which leaves a saturated wash of long-lasting color. 13 is mineral makeup. So it's cosmetics containing things like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, mica, and iron oxide. It's basically a powder that you put on your face instead of a liquid. Number 14 is non-comedogenic, and try to say that a million times. It's basically a term for products that do not clog your pores. Number 15 is paraben free. So I already did a video about this, but basically parabens are preservatives and a lot of personal care products such as moisturizer, shaving cream, deodorant. And according to the FDA, um, we have to have a really low percentage of paraben, 0.01 to 0.3%. Um, that is allowed in our skincare products. The next is serum, which is an oil or water-based product with high concentration of active ingredients, including nutrient ceramides, glycerin, and vitamins that penetrate deep into the skin. And of course, at Banish, our top seller is our vitamin C serum. Number 17 is setting powder, which is a sheer loose or pressed powder used after makeup or base makeup to extend the wear and control of the shine. 18 is setting spray, which is applied after makeup to set products for extended wear, especially in hot or humid conditions. Do you guys think setting sprays work? I don't know how to like test if they work or not. Number 19 is SPF, which is sun protection factor a measurement of how well sunscreen protects against the skin's UVB, UVB rays. And the last term I'm gonna be talking about is toner, which is applied after cleansing to balance the skin's pH, remove excess dirt and oils, and also help subsequent products penetrate the skin. So at Banish, the vitamin C elixir is a great example of a toner you can use after using the Banish Starter Cleanser. So that is it for the 20 terms, 20 makeup 
beauty terms that you guys need to know. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I create an acne related video every Tuesdays and Saturdays. And let me know what you want me to talk about in next week's video by commenting below. This is Daisy and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You